In this session I'm going to demonstrate the new last wizard tools and the last flattening tools. First I'm going to start by pulling in a last from the last library and I'm going to go to the last identification wizard. I'm going to forward through the wizard dialog until we get to the new feature which is this new center line on curve adjustment where we can adjust the center line at the toe point only at the moment. So if I rotate the last and if I left mouse click I can adjust and realign the position of the curve on the toe of the last. And back again. The last wizard is all the same as previous versions of Shoemaker and when complete finish and it will open up the flattening dialog box. A new feature on the last flattening is this increased accuracy with a slider bar that you drive with the left mouse button. Now this increases the mesh on the flattening. As you increase the value you're increasing the accuracy of the flattening but you're also increasing the time that it takes to flatten the last. For a standard last, a default setting of 20 is acceptable. If you have more bumps on the last, maybe for orthopedic, then you would increase this value. The next new function is the edit button. The edit button opens up a flattening parameter dialog box where we can change the flattening to accommodate the style of flattening that you may require for manufacture. So we have the option to adjust the spring factor which changes either the spring or the deadening of the flattened last shown by this green line. So increasing the value, decreasing the value changes the value. We can alter the length, the overall length of the form and the width of the form as a scale factor. So thus increasing in the XY direction the flattening. There is a function when activated with the checkbox that we can change the smoothing around the toe. So a lot of lasts will have a little kink towards the toe and this can be eradicated by increasing the value and creating a smooth line near the toe. We can also adjust the uh, form positions from uh, the back, so extending from the back outwards, from the bottom outwards, on both the inside and outside forms as shown by the red and blue lines. If we select the advanced tools we can actually control the position and expansion of the flattening in a vertical direction identified here in the diagram positions 1 through to 11. These are identified in these control planes here. More control planes can be added or deleted uh, to make the control in a particular position. Now the, the position of the control plane is described as the vamp point being the zero position. Anything forward towards the toe is a positive value up to the value of 0 0.99. 0 0.99 is a, a proportion of the distance up to the toe. If we go to a higher value, say 11, this is seen as a negative value and it is negative from the, uh, from the vamp position. So a position here about 6 is roughly the origin of the vamp. So what can happen is you can increase values again identifying the inside form or outside form. Values can be increased to stretch the feather edge in a vertical direction. Another feature is the scale factor of the cone which can be extended or retracted so increasing the values will extend the cone value out on both outside and inside forms and there is the last value of something called vamp point plane angle which is very similar again to the uh, spring va factor uh, and it controls the neutral axis of the flattening so value changing here will have an effect of springing the last flattening up and down again shown by this green dashed line. 
all these factors have a certain influence on one another so they they are, they do not change in isolation um so changing one value may have an effect on another area of the last as expected the the flattening is actually a limited amount of mesh being moved in one direction if you distort one area it's going to have a knock-on effect in another area so this has to be taken into consideration when flattening takes place and these values are altered when the values have been changed and you're happy with the flattening you can either choose to just OK and the default value, a new default value will be added in the main flattening dialog box or alternately you can choose to save and create your own flattening for example if I call this one test and save it we can then OK our flattening is now called test which is then saved with the model and if we want to reload test into any other other last we can do the open file find our flattening where it's saved and then have the list of options of saved files so I select test and go OK if I fold the last in half as you can see I made an adjustment to the feather edge and distorted it much further uh, in the vertical direction at the at the vamp point position roughly one of the other new features within the software is we have a new tool called the back curve editor the back curve editor allows you to increase the length at three positions on the back curve at the top the middle position and at the base position so if I wish to increase the top position I can change this value at currently at 245 to say 260 if I press return you can see the distortion taking place if I want to copy that distortion and all the values across to the other form so to the outside form I can press this copy button and the top one goes uh, the outside form goes and matches the inside form if I just want to do the outside form on its own I can put in another value here press return and I've moved out the middle position now along with the outside position and to confirm I just click OK and these are the new flattening features and last wizard features that are in Shoemaker Pro 2013